James Akers here, the tie guy. Uh, today we're going to be tying and reviewing a Fendi tie. Uh, this tie is by Fendi. They're a very good Italian company. It is a yellow tie, almost a solid, but it does have some very faint white stripes going kind of at a little bit of a, uh, a crossing pattern, a little bit diagonal. Uh, very pretty tie. Uh, Fendi, I don't have a lot of their uh, merchandise, but I know they're a very good brand, a very good Italian brand. Uh, this tie is 100% uh, silk. It's made in Italy. It is not real thick, as you can probably see from the video here, but it does have a nice feel to it. It's not as soft as a Ferragamo, but it's not super rigid. But you can feel the lines where the the, um, the white striping. It feels like it's all sewn in. It's not. This is not a screen printed tie like a Ferragamo. It's definitely sewn in. A uh, very high quality tie. We're pairing that today with a blue shirt that has little white. Um, like almost a checkerboard blue, uh, darker blue with a uh, yellow in it. So it should pull the yellow out of the tie and we're wearing that with a navy blue suit. So let's tie us up see what it looks like. Uh, today's shirt is a pointed collar that buttons down. So we're going to want to tie a little bit of a tighter knot with that so it's a little bit smaller. And let's find our spot here. Now I haven't tied this tie in a little while but I know it needs uh, a lot of room. So I'm going to go all the way down to here on it. And let's bring it up. We take the longer part of the tie over top the shorter part. Keep it, the secret is keeping it flat. If you've been watching my videos, we tie a perfect triangle by keeping everything flat. So it goes over the top, down, behind, and through. And then we take it behind the, t the small part and up and over and through. This should be the start of our triangle. So I call this the checkpoint. This is where we're going to look to see if the tie is tying nice, which it is. We've got a nice triangle going. Now we take the longer part out and over the top, keeping it flat, creating the pocket. The pocket is this right here. Then we go behind, up and through. Now we're going to tuck it through that pocket we've created. Okay, So take the tie down through the pocket. Now holding on to, the, this is if you wanted a dimple, you'd put your dimple right here, of course. I typically just go real traditional. Um, hold on to the knot and pull on the thicker or the longer part to bring it up. We're definitely creating a little bit of a dimple and that's okay. Now we're going to take the smaller part and we pull the tie up. Now let's see where we're at on, on length. We want the bottom of the tie to go somewhere between the top and the bottom of the belt buckle. It can hang slightly below the belt buckle. That's acceptable, but not super long. So let's just, um, I'm going to tighten this knot up a little bit and let's see where we are. Looks like we're coming just past the top of the belt buckle, so I'm cool with that because the knot looks great. Now let's take the shirt down and see what this looks like here, okay? So we're going to go, um, let's button it up. We want to make sure that the knot fits within the, uh, the collar, especially with it being a button down collar. So typically, you know, just a, a bit of advice, if I'm doing a uh, button down collar, I don't go with a real thick tie because I like a, uh, a double Windsor knot. I like the bigger knot um, and the thick ties just tie too big. This actually fills this in. Look at that. Look how perfect that fills in the area. I mean, I almost couldn't ask for a, a better fit than that. So let's put this all together, see what it looks like. The look will be scrolling across the bottom of your screen. Um, and uh, we'll talk about shoes here in just a second. Okay. So now we've got a navy blue Zinnia suit, a Myrna Gildo Zinnia suit. We have a light blue with yellow in it, Brooks Brothers shirt. We have a yellow Fendi tie. We have a, uh, a dark brown Salvatore Ferragamo belt with a gun belt. I'm sorry, I went with the gold belt buckle today. With gold belt buckle because I thought it would go with the yellow. And we're going to pair that with a pair of Bally, Bally shoes. Uh, these are a very dark brown, almost a chocolate brown, Oxford. They have a great look. I've been having some guys ask me more about shoes, so I'm trying to show you how to pair it up. This is going to go great with this belt. You know, they're, they're almost a perfect match, even though they're two different brands. Love the look of these shoes. Uh, Bally just makes a really good product. And on my Instagram, at the end of this video, you'll have my Instagram. Uh, on my Instagram, I'll be posting pictures um, of the shoes with socks and everything else, so you can kind of see what that looks like. Uh, we'll also be posting some close-ups of the tie and everything else on Instagram. Uh, guys, appreciate you watching. Now I'm ready for work.